I love the mountains and I love climbing for many reasons. It brings satisfaction, happiness, calmness, etc. And I've been living in China altogether for more than 20 years. China has an ancient saying, Du lo le bu zhong lo le. I'm so passionate now about bringing many people into the mountains. I grew up in the eastern United States, in New York, and from very young age, I always loved going into, the, into nature and camping and hiking, and uh, study abroad uh, when I was in college, and I went to uh, Peking University, and I was there, I got to know that there was a uh, Peking University Mountaineering Club, and I joined the club with them. And through that experience, I got to know a lot about the mountains of China and how wonderful they are. I fell in love with the mountains of China. So after college, I came back and I made my home here in Chengdu. Why Chengdu? Well, it's one, it's very near some world-class wonderful mountains in the Ganza Prefecture and Aba Prefecture. And also the city of Chengdu uh, is uh, very livable and it has a, uh, uh, great food and I really like the culture and the, the, just the whole like atmosphere of uh, Chengdu city. So I decided to make my home here and I've been living in China all together for more than 20 years. Alright, we're <laughs> so in uh, 2003, I had the opportunity with my friend Mai Hua to start uh, China's first private mountaineering training company. And it was called Renji Tanxian. And so we started uh, that company. At that time, it was actually very challenging. So for instance, uh, to get from Chengdu to Kanding, uh, not very good. <laughs> And it might have taken uh, eight hours or it might have taken, you know, all day. But now with the highway, it's very dependable. So a lot, now a lot of the mountains in all of Western Sichuan are very, very accessible. So in 2012, I had the opportunity together with an outdoor to come back and start where I am now, which is the Chengdu Li Climb uh, Mountain Guide Company. And so we've been doing this, I've been doing this uh, for 12 years now, and it's going Really great. Actually, this climb is also my first time with Jong. Although he is a little older, I found that this person is very vibrant. First time, I'll go up. Yeah, you first. Okay. Hello, Jong. Hello. 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 So in the late 90s and into the 2000s, mainly my customers were foreigners and I organized expeditions for foreign companies. And then in China, things started to change. I think because of uh, the economy and young people wanting maybe different or unique lifestyle, uh, the Chinese started discovering and going into the mountains and their mountains. Hello, everyone. You know 啊，我们看看图，看大家有没有什么？大呀！哎呀，我们年代比现在大多了，这全部这个外边这个。And uh, I think in the in the last two years, the last three years, we've really grown exponentially. Uh, so we've and our and our team has also expanded. We're now at uh, over 30 people here at Lee Climb. Uh, most of those guides or guides in training. We've attracted guides from all over the world. Uh, we now have a Russian guide and we also have a guide from South Africa. And then myself, of course, from the United States. So I'm really proud that we're a very international uh, climbing school and that uh, people can uh, come from 
all over and get many different experiences from our diverse background. I love the mountains and I love climbing for many reasons. It brings satisfaction, happiness, calmness, etc. China has an ancient saying, Du lo le buru zhong lo le. I'm so passionate now about bringing many people into the mountains and seeing how the mountains changes their lives and gives them new life experiences.